How are you doing, Ralph here, Ralph with Customs? Time for another vlog. Regular subscribers um, will know that I said next time you'll see this, it'll all be finished, welded and put back together. Well, that ain't the case, is it? Because I've had a long weekend because I've had other shit to do. So, back on this. Um, the one thing I've not done is mount this uh, fuse box. And uh, I had a chat with one of the lads when he was over at the weekend and... We agreed that we're gonna fucking stilt it up here, off this. Then it's done, isn't it? Everything's mounted down. You've got your solenoid, you've got your master cylinder, you've got your ECU, and you've got your fuse box. Everything else is a cable tie job. So, that's what I'm on with. Also, look, my fucking brooms died. I've had this years. The fucking handle's rotted through. I am sweeping up at the fucking homestead yesterday. And fucking kaplunk happened, so I'm thinking I can drill these rivets out. It's just rusted, I don't know. Look at that. I can drill these rivets out, take that out, and then put a piece in, find a bit of tube that fits in there, and slide it over here or something. I don't fucking know, I ain't got that far either, but that's what I'm gonna do. So. Give it a these rivets to drill out. Hopefully it won't fuck up. Doing it. That's quite tough. Hold on. There we go. That's kind of one. Another one this side. And then, uh, let's get some pliers, bear with me. Mm. It's one up a fucking struggle. It's like delaminated or something. It's, it's coming off in thin sheets. Well, small parts of thin sheets as well. So, we'll try and get the pliers. Can't, can't get the pliers down the side of it to, uh, to really grab it, particularly. We're just like dragging fucking bits out. Hopefully, we'll get enough of it out that the rest implodes and uh, we'll go from there but fucking hell it's like things you do if it, see in the old days it'd be wood and you just cut the fucking broom off because you broke the handle or wore the handle out or you know it's fucking rotted and then you just get a new handle or shorten it like put it back in and put a screw in it and you're fucking done we don't have that now, do we? We have this fucking metal and plastic shit. There you go. I'll, I'll get that out, I'll dig that out. Ah, what I've kind of realised is you can take the plastic, this fucking plastic shroud off it, and why you can turn it around. What's that? If it wears out one way, you turn it around, or is it left handed, right handed? Well, yeah. I've had this broom 30 years. <laughs> it has five heads and ten handles. Right, so now we've got this fucking shit, so we're no better off really, we've just got something smaller to hold on to, haven't we, so there you fucking go, I'll keep, I'll keep digging away at it, trying to get it all out, I think, I've, I'm feared, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, I'm feared that there's a screw down the end of it, that the broom handle screwed into it like it was bunged off on the end, or something, and that's going to, Thwart me fucking plans at getting it all out. Oh, well, I need to be an eye because we've done it. We've got the last bit out. And there she blows, Captain. 
I'm not sure what that peg is down the end, but it don't screw into fuck all. So now we can look at making this fucking go back in there firm because it's that's fucking look, that's no good, that's fucking gone. I can probably crush it with my fingers, look. So we can trim it back and have a look. So we're gonna give it a quick trim back with the old axle. <laughs> I made a fucking tissue paper. We'll have to see about that. No, I think that's going to be it. I thought about putting some thick tube up it. I've got some 7 8 frame tube, well, and a bar tube. And I could put a section of that up and rivet it here and rivet it where it goes in the head. But it's going to be just as weak here. You know, it's, it's only as strong as its weakest point. Right. So that goes back in there with a couple of rivets that I will go and get very shortly and we just fucking screw it back together I think if I could drill it this chuck on this devolves not the best not the best which is unusual for devolt normally fucking banging but there you go I know so get a rivet in nice and twit Just need to open the hole out a little bit. These are not eight. They're four mil, which is an oddball size for me. But there you go. They'll do it nicely. And then uh, should last another fucking ten years. Well, get in. There we go. So. Losing a couple of inches ain't uh, a problem when you're a little short ass like me. So I can't quite work out. Oh, right. So this must screw on first. Yeah. Like this. And then this goes on over the top, down the handle. Now we've got to fucking latch it on. So is that it? Has it gone that easy? Yeah. Fucking hell, it goes on a lot easier than it comes off. And then the old Lockerina Rooney on there to beef it up. I think that's just for strength, all this. Fucking hell. So you make this out of tissue paper and then extrude all this plastic to strand. There you go, sorted. One broom. Back to fucking service. Happy days. That went well, didn't it? I got the big eaters on, hold on. There she is, Mexican. Mexican lady with one tooth, one eater. Blowing away to get the temperature up in here. See, it is a little chilly. It was like four degrees when I got it. It's now six. 42 bananas, so not too bad. I'm getting shit cleared away from uh, fixing my broom and get on with that. Oh, yeah, I have another chore that I've been putting off is moving this fucker. It's a game, right? I've, I've put it off because two, two things. There you go. One, I'm not sure where to put it, where it's out of the way. I want it in this corner. But I don't want it pulling over this toolbox like it does. I reckon it's going to go here. A bit up and across like. So up and across, out of the way. I'll both turn it the other way up because I first bolted it on the wall upside down like a dickhead. And I've struggled and struggled to get in there to get a fixing in and get it toyed. Because there's no fucking room to mark the holes. It's heavy as well, you know. It's that plate on the back is so minimal, it's a fucking pain. Well, what came to me yesterday or the day before was just put a bigger plate on the back, you dickhead. It ain't like you can't work metal. Or a couple of fucking straps up and down or across or something with holes in so you can just get to it like no bother. All right, it's got the bastard off. Now, I reckon 
what I can do, dickhead, instead of fucking welding a plate to this with holes, and then you got to wrestle with this trying to get a fixing in the wall, you know, you got to hold the whole thing up, it's fucking ever. Why don't I just make some straps or a plate or something with uh, four studs, threaded studs, so you just drop this on and tighten the knots up. Hey, hey, yeah. them drilled, we have to re drill them, the holes are a bit tight, and we want a bit of wiggle room, don't we? So, I reckon <clears throat> that we can plop that fucker on there, something like that, yeah. and then draw through the, the slots, let's get a pen, excuse me, draw through the slots, like so. Fucking hard to get in these back ones. Ah, uh -huh. so, yeah, that's that. And now that gives us a template for these, which are well done. And then we'll go. And fucking screw this to the wall, happy fucking days. Then we can just drop that on it, and try and put some fucking nuts and washers, and hold it down like lovely. <laughs> Glory. It was a fucking lot easier than wrestling with it before I have. Like I have before even. Use some proper words, kind of. So ooh, yeah. jobs are good and it? it's a bit slow on the retract. Right at the last bit there to be fair, right? But that'll do for me. It's a shame I didn't get one that pivots, isn't it? Or make something, but I can't be fucking arsed, so that'll do nicely. It's out of the way now. I can use it when I'm working on the machines, and I can bring it across oh, to the fabrication area. Happy days. <laughs> Off we go then. So here's the battery uh, tray. Got two mounts for the fuse box, as shown. Starter, rear master cylinder reset, battery, and then the uh, ECU goes on the frame. So that is one bit done, finished, welded, fucking cleaned up. That'll do. Uh, it needs shop blasting with the rest of the frame before it's powder coated, but apart from that, it's fucking done. That means next on the agenda, take me helmet off, whoever, is I'm going to strip out. This is going to be fucking tricky. I know it is going to be fucking tricky. But I want the swing arm out. I need the swing arm out. Um, and the back mug guard off. So I can get in and weld everything up. So uh, that's next on the agenda. Okay, so. <clears throat> I've stripped off the foot pegs and bits and bobs. These hangers, look. All of that. And took that case off there, look. Just zipped, zipped it off. Didn't bother filming it. Um, before I take the swing arm out, what I am going to do is drop the chain back on. And I'm going to make sure that this cutout is sufficient. I'm sure it is. Well, I'm not sure because I won't be checking it. But it's no, no arm in double checking. Then I can drop the mud guard off, take it over to the bench to get rid of these holes. These mountain, temporary mountain holes, they're, they're going to be cold now. Because we ended up not using them. Um, and get the fucking swing arm out, which I'm not 100% about. If I'm honest, there is shit connected 
I've took the brake line off. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's engine. That's not connected. That's not connected. And that's not connected. So, yeah, it's just that brake line then that'll come out with the swing arm. Um, once I get that cover off there, if I can get that cover off there, well, I'll get some grips on it. So I will get it off, and then I can wad the nut off, take the bolt out, and take the back wheel assembly and swing arm out as well. Right, let's see if this will fucking. No. <laughs> I'll get a pry bar on that. I'll get a breaker bar, sorry, not a pry bar. I'll get a breaker bar on that and crack that nut undone. And then hopefully we can just wad the swindle out and take the back wheel and uh, swing arm out. Okay, with that off. Looks fucking crushed there. Fingers crossed. It's not as corroded as it looks. Hey. Happy days, that is. So, this clip's fucking in the way a bit. But we should be able to extract that. I need two hands on it, so. You can join me when I've got Ooh, that. Uh. Ooh, uh. There we go. There she is. Look, we now I can get in to all these, all these inside welds and shit, and I can get that all welded up. There's no shit. It's just a term of phrase. <laughs> it's not actually. It's an expression. So get that welded up. Get that cleaned up. Most of which I'll do off camera. Uh, you see me welding, grinding, sanding, fettling off, so... Uh, once that's done, as if by magic, next time you see that, it will be welded and sorted. And we will be putting it back together, or we will have it back together even. We'll see, we'll see how it goes now then. I've just had some viewer mail, which I don't get very often. This is from our David, if you're watching. Thanks, buddy. Um, unfortunately, it didn't get broke in transit. It's a big five-inch fucking... 110 volt angle grinder which is really fucking great but there's a there's, there was a break in the lead i've had to chop a section out look it went stopping and starting and not fucking having it like so i've i've identified the break uh, and i'm just attempting to refit the cable way up but it needs these ends on to fit in the fittings in the machine like so i'm just crimping on these little ends. It's the first time I've ever used these. I bought a massive box of them, not them. They're under there, like, on the top shelf there. Uh, years ago. And I've never had cause to use them until today. So, that's happy days. I'll get this back together. And you can see it running. So, got a box under the bench. Took that in out of the way. We've rewired it and... Fucking hell, happy days. There it is. Yes, I know it's not got a guard. Yes, I know it's not got an handle. Don't worry about me. We'll be beat. I'm well made up, mate. Thank you. I really, really appreciate that. That is something that I will use at the bench on a regular. So, sorted. Right, let's get back to business. There must be a circus in town. What is this? Uh, we're pretty much welded all around the bottoms, yeah, on both sides. We've started around the other side. Just had a visit from one of my club brothers. Though he don't watch YouTube, so there's no point in me mentioning that TC's just been in. But what's left is around all this suspension, I'm not sure whether to weld every bit of every side or just the outside or what not sure definitely weld in there i'll probably get all of it in the end and the top and the top's going to prove a bit of a con because i can't get under there because there's cobs in the way lot like, there's stuff i just won't be able to get in there i might have to take the carburetors off which if i do i do there you go i'll get what i can and we'll go from there and there we fucking go i don't know it's not still smoking but it, it, i can feel it from here <laughs> So, that's it. But the hardest bit for me was fucking getting up there where you can't see. Up in there, look. Fucking hell, fire. It's uh, not easy with the engine in and the bike upright, if you like. 
I would have preferred to have it in bits and stood it on end or flipped it over or whatever but we've done it without having to do that which is happy days so I'm going to let it cool off a minute give it a quick fettle well a good fettle not a quick fettle a good fettle and uh, Bob's your auntie we can stop we can get that lump back in we can weld up these uh, sweating out I forgot about that we can weld up these from the outside and grind them off with a new fucking big grinder. Happy days. Cheers, Dave. But we'll do that while that's cooling down. And then we'll give it a fettle. And we'll redo any welds that uh, we've missed. Not redo. We'll do any welds that we've missed. But I don't think we have. I think it is fucking good to go. And solid as fuck. You know what I mean? That would stand the atom one going off that frame now. Fuck me. It's a good oh, idea. So, there we go. That is that. Oh, well did, cleaned up. Bob, your auntie. Right, now I need to build it back up. It's getting late. Another brother come and see me. Our Barnet, Barney Boo, although I don't think he watches this either, so two shout outs there that will go unnoticed. Um, He's been in sorted and had my stove, my wood burner that I did the review on. He's picked that up, bless him. So that's happy days. Um, what I'll do off camera is chuck this back together and call it fucking done. Stick a fork in it and call it done. I know, last job is the entrance way to the side stand for which we'll use the ox spanner, the vintage brass ox spanner. Uh, We'll get it nice and warm and then we'll pull it over a bit. It just sits a little bit too upright, although Todd might end up on the slightly longer choppers. Uh, I probably would. But we'll see. And there we go, that's it. Jobs are good in. One cut down low rider. It's fucking low as well, look. Here's my knee. Here's my knee, look. Can't show you very well. It's nice. It's, it's lovely. Proper out of breath, just took the bottles back, quite heavy. But there it is, in all its glory. Like I say, Todd might want to go slightly longer on the back shockers. That bar I've put in is 11 and a half inches. Go 12 and a half inches, you'll have an inch higher. Won't hurt, although I quite like how it sits. But that's not my call. It's up to the man himself. But that's job done. Finished. Sorted. <laughs> there you go, that, that ended up quite the epic fucking endeavour, didn't it? I'm trying to frame some up behind me. Here go, Bridgeport, look, looks lovely. Um, it just leaves me, as always, to thank you for watching. <sighs> if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Consider giving me a sub so uh, you don't miss out on notifications. Click that bell and all that shizzle. Check out my friends, merchandise, supporting the channel, etc. in the description below. And I'll catch you on the next one. See you soon. Big love, everyone.